Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a grenade tutorial that basically the longer you hold the throw button, the higher the arc becomes for the grenade toss, kind of like you guys are seeing right now. And if I have time, or I might make this into a separate tutorial, I'll show you guys how to make the little orange tracer disc that shows you guys where the grenade's going to land. Alright, so how are we going to do this? First thing we're going to need is we're going to right click in the content browser. We're going to go to blueprint class. And we're going to create an actor. And we're going to call this grenade. New because I have a bunch of them. And we're going to open that up. And we're going to add a component. We're going to add a sphere. And we will call this grenade mesh. And I'm just going to resize this. Be a little bit smaller. 0.2 and I'm gonna give it a nice bright um, material. So just go for orange. You guys can put whatever the heck you want on there. Um, we're gonna check this box for simulate physics and to generate hit events if you want that for later. Um, we're not gonna really be doing anything with that at the moment. And then we're going to go into the event graph. I'm going to delete all of this. And we're just going to do one thing. We're going to drag off the event begin play. And we're going to say set physics linear velocity of the grenade mesh here. And then we're going to right click here on the new velocity and promote this to a variable. And we'll just call this grenade toss velocity. And what we want to do with this thing, we're going to compile, and we want to make this instance editable so that each grenade doesn't have the same velocity, and we also want to expose it on spawn. So when we create this grenade, we'll be able to set this velocity right off the bat. And that'll be all we need for the grenade. So we're going to hop into the player character, and what we're going to do is if you see in this viewport, I already have a billboard here, but I'm going to make another one just so you guys can follow along. So we'll search for billboard. And I will call this grenade launch point. And it's just going to be right here. It'll be in the same spot. But just so you guys can see what I was doing before. And that's where we're going to launch the grenade from. So we'll go back here into the event graph. And what we're going to do is we're going to say F key, or whatever you want to be your launch key. And we're going to grab this grenade launch point and drag it in here. And when we press the F key, we don't actually want to launch um, a grenade yet. But what we want to do is drag off and say timeline. And we will add a timeline here. And we'll call this grenade arc. And what this is going to do is actually change the pitch of this launch point. So we'll double click in here and we'll make this length 1.5. This is just going to be the length, how long it takes that you can hold that key to get to the maximum arc height. And we're going to click here, add float track. And we'll call this arc path. And I'll right click in here and say add key to float. And we'll make sure this is zeroed out at zero, zero. And then we'll just click here somewhere and say add key. And we'll make this time 1.5 because that's how long this length is. And we'll want it to arc up to 75 degrees. So now that we have that, we could see come back here in the event graph and we now have this float track. So this is going to run from 0 to 75 in 1.5 seconds. And what we want to do is from pressed, we want it to always play from start. So that always starts at 0. So what we're going to do for the grenade launch point, we're going to say get rotation. And we're going to break this. So we'll right click here and say split structure. And then we're going to drag off of one of these and say make rotator. And we want to hook both of these up 
because we don't want to change the x and the z axis. And then we're going to just drag right in here from the arc path into the pitch. This is going to set the angle right here. And then from here, we're going to drag and say set rotation. So we want to set world rotation. And we're going to drag from the update into here. And we'll get this return value to there. Now, when we release, we're going to have a sequence. And the first thing we want to do when we release is stop this arc from going any further. And the next thing we want to do is say spawn actor from class. And we're going to look for our grenade new. And do you see how this popped up now, grenade toss velocity? That's because we had that exposed on spawn, so we'll be able to input something into here as this thing is spawned. And the last thing we want to do, I'm going to get this player mesh here. And I'm going to say get world rotation. And what I want to do is set this grenade launch point. Set world rotation. And I want to set it to the um, player mesh rotation. And we're going to do this after we spawn the grenade. Okay, so that'll zero this back out to whatever the direction the player is facing. And finally, we're going to come off of the grenade launch point. We'll say get forward vector. And then we're going to drag off of here and say times float. And this is going to be your launch speed, so we can put it in at like 1500 is usually somewhere around there is pretty good and you can drag this and put this into the velocity and now if we compile oh, sorry we need a transform for that my bad so we'll say get world rotation or location here of the launch point and then we're gonna say make transform and we will plug this in to the transform and we want to get this rotation here and plug that into the rotation of our grenade now we will compile and it should be happy minimize this we'll hit play and we will hold F and as you see the longer I hold F if I hold it all the way down, it almost looks like it's shooting straight up. But if you just tap it, it kind of shoots out like this. And it doesn't matter what direction you're facing, you can shoot these grenades out. Alright guys, that's it. I hope it was helpful, and if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I think I'll break this up into two tutorials, and in the next one I'll show you guys how to make that little... Um, orange locator that I had in the beginning. Alright guys, see you later.